Hello and welcome to our substitution and evaluation video. Uh, in this video, we're, I'm going to teach you how to replace variables with numbers and evaluate. All right, substitution simply means to replace a variable with a given number. Uh, evaluation, evaluating means to use the order of operations to simplify the problem after you have substituted. So we're going to substitute and evaluate. So with the problem 3x minus 15, they want us to substitute and evaluate. They say evaluate 3x minus 15 when x is equal to negative 2. So we're going to replace wherever we see x in our expression, we're going to replace it with negative 2 because it says x and negative 2 are, have equal values. x equals negative 2. So 3x with no symbol in, in between, no operation in between, that means multiplication. So that means 3 times negative 2 minus 15. So that's the substitution step. And after we substitute, we'll evaluate by using our order of operations. So we can't simplify anything inside the parentheses. We don't have any exponents. So the next thing we look for is multiplication. 3 times negative 2, negative 6. And then we have the subtraction there, negative 2 minus, negative 6, sorry, minus 15. We're already at negative 6, and we spend 15 more. That's going to place us at negative 21. Think about your number line. Now, when you subtract, or if you add a negative number, you go farther to the left on that number line. Another one, 2x squared plus 4x minus y, when x is equal to negative 4 and y is equal to 12. So wherever I see an x, I will replace it with negative 4. Wherever I see a y, I'll replace the y with 12. So instead of 2x squared, we'll have 2 times negative 4 squared plus 4 times 4x, I'm going to replace the x again with negative 4, minus positive 12, just minus 12. Okay, now after we substitute, then we evaluate by using the order of operations. Again, we have parentheses, but there's nothing that I can do inside the parentheses, so my next, next step would be exponents. Negative 4 squared, that means negative 4 times negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So negative 4 squared is equal to positive 16. Then we have multiplication. Now we have multiplication in a couple of places, so we'll go ahead and take care of both of those. We have 2 times 16, which is 32. And then we have positive 4 times negative 4. That is negative 16. So we can just write that as minus 16. And then we will subtract the 32 minus 16. And that gives us 16. And then subtract again. 16 minus squared gives us the final answer of 4. So this is some more practice on the order of operations. You replace the variables with the given numbers, and then you use the order of operations to simplify or evaluate. Okay. How about this one? 3xy, that's all multiplication, 3 times x times y minus 5xz minus 2yz, when x equals 2, y equals 7, and z equals 3. So we're going to replace those variables with the given numbers. So 3 times 2 times 7 minus 5 times 2, and z is equal to 3, so times 3, and then 2yz, so minus 2, y is equal to 7, times 7, z is equal to 3, so times 3. So we will 
let's say each one of those variables is just a given number. You know, let's say, uh, let's say the pair is equal to. Then we use the order of operations. Well, we have three groups of multiplication here. Three times two times seven, that is all multiplication. So three times two is six, then six times seven is 46. Again, we have another group of multiplication, five or negative five times two times three. So five times two is 10, 10 times three is 30, so minus 30. And then this last group of multiplication, uh, two times seven times three, or negative two times seven times three, that gets the negative or minus, two times seven is 14, 14 times three is 42. So now we will subtract 42 minus 30. 42 minus 30, that will give us 12. And then we will subtract again. So we have 12 minus 42. So we start off with 12, so we spend $42. So we overspent by 30, so we're at negative $30. Look at one more substitution and evaluation problem. 2 parentheses x plus 5 plus 10 when x is equal to negative 3. Now we, uh, we could use the distributive property here, but since they're telling us what x is equal to, there's no need to use the distributive property. Let's start off by replacing the x with negative 3. We're going to use our order of operations after we substitute it. So we're going to work inside parentheses since we can simplify negative 3 plus 5. Negative 3, add 5 to that, that will leave us with positive 2. Then we would multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. And the final step is addition. 4 plus 10 would give us 14. Okay, that's it for substitution and evaluation. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you.